Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and I'm excited about these new bower blades that I have. Don't look like anything I've ever seen before. I saw these demoed at a farm show and was kind of blown away at the possibilities for them because it works similar to a bush hog blade. So if this blade hits something, it can swivel down out of the way and then it'll sling back out, which helps prevent damaged blades and helps prevent throwing rocks. You've also got four cutting edges instead of two with your standard blade. So it basically mulches even without a mulching deck. So this is something I've been really excited to demo. It took a couple of months to get them in, but now I've got them. First thing we're gonna do is put on a brand new set of traditional blades. We're gonna go find some tall grass and we're gonna mow that and see how it looks. Then we're gonna put the Megmo blades on. We're gonna go right next to that in the same grass and do a comparison. Then I've got a couple of properties that need mowed today, including a baseball field. So we'll do a bunch of mowing with them and see how they do. So let's get going. All right, someone specifically asked me to do an installation video on these, but there's nothing unique about installing these compared to your normal mower blade installation. It's got a single hole in the center of it. You just bolt it on with the same bolt as normal. I'll go ahead and show it real quick, but I don't wanna take a lot of time on that. What I do, my mower has hooks or rings on the frame front and back. So there's four of them. I just hook a chain through those hook a chain on this hook on the center of my bucket and lift the deck up. I do go ahead and put something under it as a backup so it doesn't fall on me, but for me that's the easiest mower jack I've got. These quick track mowers are a little bit different than any I've ever used before as far as how you change the blades. I don't know how common this style is on zero turns, but they've got thumb screws that hold this guard on. Oh, you have to let the deck down. So you take loose the thumb screws, then these guards lift off. Then this is your bolt right here for the mower blade. So you can take it loose from the top or the bottom, either one with an impact, and it'll fall right back out. But when you go to put it back on, you have to have a wrench on the top to tighten it. It's got three washers on top, three washers on the bottom. But again, none of that's really relevant to the Megmo blades specifically. They bolt on the same as any other mower blade. Right now we're putting on new conventional style blades. So that tightened up good, only working from the top. Previously I had the impact on the bottom and I had to have a wrench on the top, which was awkward to reach under and above, but running them from the top, it looks like maybe you don't need that second wrench. So I'll go ahead and change all three blades and then we'll do our cutting test with these. All right, so we got the three new blades on. You can see these were a little bit chipped up, not terrible, but we definitely don't want to compare one style of new blade to one style of used blade. So I think you're gonna get a better test of a mower blade mowing grass that's almost too tall to mow. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go find something that's at least knee high back in one of the fields and compare the two sets of blades there. Then we're gonna go mow regular yards and see how well it mulches. So I'll let this down and we'll get started.
All right, so this stuff is almost tall enough for a bush hog. And you got weeds, that's up to my waist. That's above my waist. It's a mix of all different kinds of grass and weed. And I've got a wide stretch that's all the same. So I'm gonna have four sections. New regular blades, one pass. New regular blades, two passes. Megmo blades, one pass. Megmo blades, two passes. And we'll compare which one does better. Then we're gonna go cut some normal grass and then I'll give you all my overall thoughts. So let's get started. After making my first pass, I realized I had the deck lower than I intended to and I raised it up to about three and a half inches for the rest of the test. Those other blades really struggled on that tall grass, and I don't know, these might struggle too, but we're gonna put them on and find out. It's exactly like the other process of putting the other blades on, so unless I run into some unexpected problem, the next clip you'll see will be me cutting grass with these blades. That blade change went smooth, no issues whatsoever. Let's go do some mowing. Megmo recommends that you have these set to full discharge rather than the mulch setting and this is an electronic mulch on demand and for some reason my discharge chute would not fully open so I'm half mulching here and I'm full mulching on the yard coming up. This is the section we just went over once. It's really scraggly, left stuff. It was tall. I mean, that's just what you're gonna get. It's not designed to mow grass this tall. Let's look over here. This is the part with the regular blades that we mowed twice. Still quite a bit of scraggly, a little bit less. Now let's go look at the Megmo side. I would say on the side that we did with the Megmo, first pass looks about the same. Second pass is cleaner. It's not a big difference, but maybe a little. The other difference I noticed is the Megmo does leave a finer cut clipping for considering we weren't mulching. So there's not a dramatic difference here. I'm gonna go mow a couple yards and the baseball field, which I know to be overgrown, and then I'll give you my thoughts on it.
city line and the crazy nights. Figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's pregnant. Paycheck, rat race, what's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond. I think I go back where I came from. Where everybody knows my name. My friends are still the same. I guess the slow life is just right. Like a bonfire on a cold night. Hell, and you can keep your nine to five. This is one of the yards that I mow every week, and that's a big improvement. I've never gotten a cut this good. Normally, even if I have good blades, I'll leave a trail right along the mulch chute that I have to go back over because I don't like to leave even a thin trail. And there are no grass clippings to be seen on this. These blades really do mulch better. If anything, this was a little bit long when we got here but it has made a really nice cut. It feels like my regular blades are a little bit more scraggly, whereas every blade here looks to be cut the same height. To this point, I've mowed grass that was so tall it needed a bush hog. I've mowed grass that was just a little bit taller than our normal spot where we like to mow our yards at. And this is halfway in between. This is a baseball field that I maintain but nobody's playing ball here this year for a couple of different reasons. And so I don't stay on the maintenance very much. I'm not paid anything to do it and nobody's using it. So this will really give a good test to those mulching blades. I'm gonna mow for a little while and as soon as it starts to get a little bit too dark to record, I'll come give my final thoughts on these Megmo blades. maintaining these fields for a couple years now. I used a sit-down regular John Deere lawnmower and a sit-down zero-turn lawnmower and I've also used a wheel horse and a Ferris zero-turn mower that was on the high end and then I've used it these two commercial stand-on mowers from John Deere the quick tracks and I've mowed this field when it was overgrown like this several times and Flat out, these Megmo blades make a difference. I'm gonna put them on everything I can get them for that has a mower blade. If they have them for my push mowers, which I think they do, I'm gonna put them on there. I'm gonna put them on the two zero turns. I'm gonna put them on the mower deck for the tractor. I think it's a phenomenal product. The other two reasons to buy these are long, long term, they're supposed to hold up better to getting nicked up and they are not as dangerous because they don't throw things. I can't speak to that yet because I haven't hit anything and this is my first day running them. But I will be doing follow-up videos on this. I think Megmo, phenomenal product. Visit their website. If you talk to customer service at Megmo, tell them you saw this video. I appreciate you taking time to watch. In a minute you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos. 
and I'll see you next time.